Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here if you are new and thank you for coming back if you have returned to see another one of my videos. So it is that time of the month people and my time of the month has come late. It is boxy charm time. I was thinking about like not even filming this because it's like you know late in the month but <clears throat> I figured you know why not maybe some of you out there like want to see it and by like some of you I mean that I'm almost at a hundred subscribers and I can't even tell you a hundred subscribers to most people is probably like eh, you know but to me it is like fabulous and I am so excited I am so grateful and so I've decided to do a hundred subscriber giveaway I was gonna wait till I got to 500 and you know what I'm like I'm a few people away from 100 subscribers so when I get there I'm going to film the uh, giveaway video but right back there I can't say it unless you zoom in can't really zoom in now can you but right back there is one of the things that I'm going to be doing in my giveaway it is something that I mentioned in a video one of my whole videos a little while back and that's not the only thing that's going to be in it but that is just a sneak peek if you can see back there that it's going to be so hopefully I can get a few more people to subscribe and like me. <laughs> they like me. They really like me. Um, and then I will be filming that video and I will be super, super excited about it. But anyway, let's get back to why you guys are here. Boxy charm. Now I do know um, a little bit about what's in the box, but I know the variation. So I don't know the variation that I got. I did open this because the last, like, sometimes, you know, I, like, got a cut on my finger last time I tried to use my finger to open it. So I didn't. Um, did cut the plastic off of it, but we're going to explore it together. Okay, so I don't know if anyone doesn't know what BoxyCharm is, but BoxyCharm is a $21 a month subscription box that you get four to five full size products every month delivered to you. Do I have a cat here? Okay, so what would a video be without a cat here? But, um, so you get four to five full size products, and let me tell you, BoxyCharm is killing it. I absolutely love the subscription. It is like one of my favorite subscriptions, and I have quite a few subscriptions, let me just tell you. So I'm just going to stop chatting, and we're going to get into it. Okie dokies. Here's the box, and it says a vacation. Play on words. Okay. And you can enter for a chance to win an exclusive BoxyCharm giveaway worth over 400 dollars that's super exciting of course on the back this cute little card is very spring like flowers can't wait for spring we're getting guess what more snow mm -hmm. shocking i know okay the other thing they have is coupon for 25 percent off your 50 dollar purchase on butter london maybe we're getting something butter london in the box i don't know okay how about we just get into the first thing here okay the first thing i'm pulling out which is really pretty that's by pretty vulgar and this is in the shade Make Them Blush. Now, I know that's right. There were two. This is one of the variations, I think. And why can't I? Ah, yes. Um, open this. This is one of the variations. And I'm really happy that I got this variation because it is a beautiful, very soft, totally me wearable blush. Look how pretty that is. I love the vintage packaging that um, Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics um, has. I don't own anything by them, but their face palettes, their eyeshadow palettes are like bird cages, just very unique and different. And this is just beautiful packaging, and I'm really excited about this. So we'll be trying this on in a little bit. The next thing that I see is from South Main and their eye gel packs. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I'm a skincare junkie and I wear these gel packs every single day. Obviously, I'm not going to try them on today. Because I just have my foundation and my, I was going to say my bra. Yes, I do have one of those, but I have my brows on also. TMI. Okay. Um, I will let you know how, because this one says it reduces puffiness, dark circles. Nothing. These don't reduce dark circles. I hate that. I'm hoping that it will reduce the puffiness and I'm hoping it will moisturize the eye area. So I will let you know at the end of the month when I do my, you know, favorites and stuff, whether or not these worked. Okay. Moving on, we have, and this is a really big box from, um, oh, there's, here's the Butter London. Butter London Lashes Mascara. And this is, wow. Uh -huh. Or mom, <laughs> if you're reading it upside down. That's really funny. Okay. 
Um, I've never tried the mascara. I'm actually, 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 yeah, I'm going to use this one today because I uh, finished up a few mascaras that I have, and I'm anxious to use it. Double Decker Lashes. Now that's print that I can read. Finally, print that I can read. Let's take a look. Okay, it's just standard mascara wand. Nothing too spectacular, but we'll see how it works. It sounds like it's a very wet mascara. Okay, we'll be trying that on, because we are going to do a look with it, and... Of course, I have my puppy mug. When I get home from work, first thing I have is a cup of coffee to wake up before I go to sleep. I don't know, go figure. Okay. There is a palette in here, but I'm going to pull this out next. These are Vintage Cosmetics. We have gotten something from Vintage Cosmetics before. I believe it was an eye pencil. Let's take a look at these brushes. I like the packaging. Very cute. Gingham. Like very country country garden type. And of course it's sealed. With, yeah, there we go. Okay, it is a trio of brushes. I'm telling you, they've been really like, you know, we got trio of brushes last time. We've gotten a trio of brushes a few times. Okay, they're very pretty. They are white. I don't know whether these are wooden handles or plastic handles. But this one says, step three, after the shadow. This is a slightly angled brush. I would probably do my edges, but it almost looks too big to do that, but we'll see. This is just a little like flat brush here. Step three. Oh, this says step two, no glasses. This says step three. Go girl you. I mean, go girl go. I would probably use this underneath my lashes. And this is a just a little bit larger flat brush that I could probably pack on color with. And this is step one for the money. One for the money? Cute. Oh, one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, go, go, go. That's the saying. This says one for the money, two for the shadow, and three, go girl, go. Cute vintage cosmetics, very cute. They feel kind, they feel soft. Yeah, we'll try them. We'll find out. Last thing in the box, and I knew we were getting a palette. Comes in just a. I was wondering, maybe this would have got come in a box, but, oh, that's right, because Boxy, Charm, and Pure paired up together, so this is a palette that is specifically made for the Boxy Charm. It comes in very nice, white, glossy um, cardboard packaging, but it does have little embossed hearts on it, which you're not going to be able to see, and it has Pure and Boxy Charm on the front. It does not have any of the shades listed on the back, but it does have the ingredients listed on the back. I just can't read them for the life of me. And why can't I open the palette? Can't open the palette because it's got a thing on it. And I'm hoping this doesn't ruin the outside packaging. I swear that tape on products is my nemesis. And I don't know, maybe they do it. Just for me. Jeez. Ah, la 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 la. Okay, good. It didn't, didn't ruin it. And there's one on the other side. Okay. Well, we'll get to this eventually. I mean, I got online. I don't know about you guys, but. I didn't bring scissors with me. I never bring scissors with me. I always forget to bring scissors with me. Okay, it didn't ruin anything. It just left the package all sticky. Yucky poos. All right, let's open her up. Comes with the mirror. And the little protective thingy. It's very cute. It says pure and boxy charm. Um, it's got an okay mirror on it. I mean, it's not the mirror's a little on the cheap side, but that's okay. But... The colors are looking spectacular. And, now I did not plan this, but this blue, kind of color, color coordinating. And 
I'm thinking that I'm going to need to put that blue all over my lids. And let's see how they swatchies. Swatch this pretty one here. Now they don't have the names on them. The blue is very soft. I want to do this magenta color. That's what they're looking like. Now let's do one more. Let's do one more. There's a chocolate brown. There's like a glittery black. I always like to test the blacks. That's like a good, of course now I have this on me. That's always a good sign. I want to see how they work in one swipe. Well, the one swipe, that has to be the worst swatching on the planet. And hmm, I'm a little disappointed in this gold. Okay, I just like put three swipes on my hand. The magenta, the magenta's pigmented. The blue looks really pretty. This bronzy gold, you can kind of barely see it, but it's there. And the blocks, the block, the black swatched. Okay, you know, not, not, not bad, but again, it's really just for purposes of feeling, you know, I like to get a good feel of what they look like and stuff, but it doesn't mean that they won't perform on the eyes. So, um, it looks like it's a very, I can do this. It's a very nice palette. I mean, it's got transition shades. It's got an all over lid color. I will be using this in my, um, as a transition. I, I'm thinking I'm going to go all out crazy and do the blue and magenta. Or maybe the blue and the chocolate brown. And maybe I'll put the magenta underneath. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, guys. What do you say? Let's have some fun and try some on. Why don't we? And at least I have a mirror that I can use. I am going to try these brushes and see how they work. I'll give you my thoughts. Now, if I was to use one of these for a transition day, I'm going to try the angled one and see how that works. I don't know how that's going to work. But I won't know until I find out now, will I? Remember I said they didn't have the names on them? They do have the names, but yours truly, without her glasses on, has a very hard time seeing. They're tiny, they're in white. But this first one says perfect. Perfect. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. And I skipped a step. I want to do one thing first. I'm going to take itchy nose. Okay. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to do the all over lid color and, and base color first. Let's see. Oh, that goes on really nicely. I'm liking. It's basically a bone color and it's matching my skin tone, with, but it's nice. It's putting down just a nice base and I want to get my hair out of the way here. Let's tuck here. Tuck this hair behind my ears. Okay, there we go. This I would probably use a, like a fluffier brush to do this. Um, I'm also at a weird angle here, but yeah, I'll probably use a flush, flushier, <laughs> fluffier brush. But I still think it went on quite well. Let's see. I better turn this way. There we go. I got better light anyway. I can only use one of my lights because I don't have enough room to set up the both of them, and it's so annoying because I never get like the perfect light. Anyway, I'll stop complaining. Okay, now we're going to go into my transition shade here. And now we're going to try the transition shade. The brush is very soft. Like, did, I don't know if you saw, like, the poof of powder come off, though. <laughs> but, like, they're not kicking up in, in the pan, but there was a poof of shadow. Shadow, I mean, the, pa the, the brush is soft, and I mean, that's a color looks great, I think. Um, I'm liking it so far. Let's try the other eye. Lighting so much better this way. It goes on really, really pretty. It's really hard doing my makeup like this, I have to tell you, because I'm used to, like, sitting at my vanity, and I have one of those mirrors that, like, is the um, magnifying. I keep it's a three times magnifying, and I keep it in there all the time. So it's so weird. I'm not used to, like, holding a mirror like this and doing my makeup. So it's definitely different. Okay. Um, I don't want to use the little brush. 
let's see. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm going. I'm going in for it. Let's see how this pink is. <laughs> I am going in for this pink as a crease. Um, and then I'm going in with this magenta and like a halo. And then I'm going to put this uh, blue in the middle. What the hell? Why not? I'm going a little bit lower for my crease color. It's pretty. It's not as dark as I thought it would be, but it's pretty. Again, I don't know if I'd use this brush from my crease, but I'm doing it anyway. Because these are the brushes we got, so you know what? I'm going to make them work. Ha! So there. I always bring my crease up just a little bit because... Because it looks better on my eyes that way. Everyone's eyes are different. Everybody has a different technique. See, I, I feel like I keep having to like rotate this brush to get the right angle for it. That's alright. That is okay. I want to just try putting this bone a little bit more up here again. Just because I want to see what the whole thing's going to look like. Okay. This is what we're going to do. I said, I'm, I'm just going back in. I'm going in with this bright fuchsia color. Boy, and she's bright. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, yep. This brush is nice for packing on the color. And I'm not getting any fallout underneath my eyes. Maybe because I'm tapping off, but... What I need to do is blend this. Hopefully this will blend this together nicely. And hopefully I'm not... Oh, I'm not blocking the camera. What a concept. Let's see if this little baby brush can pack on this blue. Hmm. And whether it's the brush, I'm a little disappointed. I was expecting, like, bam, kind of in your face a little bit. There we go. You really got to pack it on now. You know, if you get an adventurous palette with these colors, I say, what the heck? Why not use them? I'm going to go back into this magenta color again. And kind of blend some more. Now, problem is, I really do need a clean brush to, I don't have a brush to put on my inner sparkle color and my highlight color, which is a little worrisome that I didn't bring it. So I'm going to go back in here and put this bone color up here again, and it's going to soften that a little bit. See how it softened that up? I'm going to try to put, I really want to put this color that I wasn't sure how it performed, on the inner corner but okay here's the brush I'm using the other side and I'm going to show you I'm digging my brush in here and it barely I mean I had to push look at the indent I made in the shadow can you see the indent let's see um I don't know whether you have to use this color wet or not but like nothing, I mean, it's it's now on here. All right, so there's a little bit. A little disappointed. Because I'm like, and I got the blue one here too. You know what, guys? Hang out because I want to make this eye look work. Hang out. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some good brushes. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I came armed. 
I came on with my color switch. I came on with my Max Fix Plus. My favorite Morphe brush at the moment. No, I have no affiliate code, sorry. And a real technique brush. We're gonna make this work. I'm gonna try one more time to go into this color. And you know what it's doing? I, I have to show you this. Can you see? It's acting, you know, the ColourPop shadows? It's acting like a ColourPop shadow. And like really putty-like. This is weird. It's going on a little bit better with this. I'm gonna, again, I like dug out so much. I'm not liking this. Let's, let me try wetting my brush here. See if that works. A little bit. I mean, and just a little bit. I'm not happy with that one color. I'm gonna go into the bronze, but first I want to, I'm gonna do some color switch again. I'm gonna blend this out a little bit with my Morphe. Yeah, you know, once it's blended out. Now I do want to take this smaller one and I want to go um, underneath. I'm going to go underneath with a little bit of the chocolate brown and then I'm going to put some of the magenta on top of it and then a sparkly. And I'm going to add a little bit of this chocolate brown just like a teeny tiny bit over here. I don't like the chocolate brown underneath my eye. It's very pretty, but it's too dark. Well, I did it on one side. I got to do it on the other. Color switch it. Let's change it up. Let's take some of the magenta color here. Let's see if I can get the names down. What are you? Ah, BFF. How cute. This is a really soft brush, though. Um, I'm really happy um, with the brushes. Yay, that's one thing, right? Go this way. And angle's are tough when you're filming. Now, I did get a little bit of fallout, I think, of the blue. Now that I'm looking. So I'm really going to be able to tell, like, when I go up close and personal on my good mirror by my vanity. Let's go into, let's try this gold color and see if that works in my corner. Wow, I'm really, I don't know, guys. I mean, they, it comes off nice. I don't know why it's, whether it's the brush on top of these other eyeshadows. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's Maybelline. We're going to give up on that in the corner. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, and I'll be right back. Hi, guys. I am back. So I just went ahead, and I did the other eye, and I did throw some black liner on them. Currently just trying out this new Stila uh, black twist-up kind of gelish aliner. Um, I'm still on the fence about it. I'm uh, not sure really how I feel because uh, I just got it, but I did that, and um, yeah. I'm just, the only color I'm disappointed in is this one. I'm not going to give up try like trying it. I'm going to try it again, but this bronzy color definitely goes on better, but it just, the bronzy wasn't really working for my inner highlight. I really like a BAM inner highlight. And this one just looks so pretty, but um, it doesn't show up when you rub, when you, I tried it on my hand, it just didn't show up. So that one's disappointing, yet the bronze does show up. So, I don't know, your guess is as good as mine with that one. Um, yeah, I mean, it went a little bit crazy with the eye look, but, you know, what the hell. But I really think you can get some nice, natural, everyday looks. When I walk around with this eyeshadow every day, no. Um, but I am, um, you know... I think it just makes me look tired because I am so tired, so that's the only thing. Maybe when I put some blush on, which I'm going to try that blush. But um, aside from that, I think you can do some really pretty looks. I'm looking forward to trying this palette. And I do have other pure eyeshadows. I have other palettes. I have the My Little Pony palette. I mean, I have the Trolls palette. Um, and I like that palette a lot. So I don't know. But 
I am going to play with this some more and I'll let you know. Now, as for the mascara, let's give this a shot and see what happens. So I'm, well, it's very wet. Um, I said I'm really not used to doing this like without my magnifying mirror. I feel like I'm like, you know, straining over here. I hope I was close enough for you guys to see everything. I mean, it's doing something. It's just one I almost done. I mean, I just kind of went over it a few times, but not bad. That's one eye. And the other eye. Okay, let's try the other one. That's the other eye on that. I don't like it too much on my lower lashes, I don't think. Um, I mean, it's not, not bad mascara. I'm not disliking it. It's not my, oh my goodness, like, favorite thing on the planet, but it's okay. I'm not mad at it. At all. In the least. Hello, Pepper Cat. Okay, how about we do some blush? I'm really excited about this color. Yay! So I'm wondering what the variations were in the box. I don't know if the mascara was another variation. I don't not think the palette was, but I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. Wow. Hold on. Very. I don't know if all the. I don't know if you saw that first dust off. Just wondering if it has a smell. Wow. Very, I mean, it goes on a lot. You don't need to dip in a lot with this. Wow, that is super pretty. And it's blending out nicely. Itchies. I like in this. Wow, this is my favorite thing, I think, in the whole palette. I mean, the whole box. That's a really pretty blush. I'm really happy about that. I'm super happy that we got it. Because it just, it, it just goes on so nicely. And it's like a totally wearable color. I think the other color that was in the box was a super bright pink one, which I don't know how it would look on me, but... So, I don't know, I was going to throw on some lips and stuff, but how many times do you guys like have to see that? I mean, really, everybody does their like whole finished look. This is what you came to see, the eyes and, and the blush and everything else and the mascara. Um, I said, I'm kind of happy with it. You can tell me what you think of the eye look, like, Leanne, you're crazy. That was a ridiculous eye look. Doesn't bother me. I love, I don't mind criticism, I like criticism. It's fun, but am I happy with the box? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to play with this palette some more. Have some fun with it. Do the only color that, I mean, I didn't swatch everything, but so far the only color that's bothering me is that one. This this one here, a little dry. But, like, those, those went on nicely. Um, I said the black went on. The chocolate's, like, super, super pigmented. So, I'm happy. I think, the bo I think these boxes are awesome. I think they're worth it. Yeah, sometimes they're better than others, but, you know, have I ever gotten, like, a box and I was like, oh, so mad that, you know, I paid $21 for it? No. And I said, it's, it's makeup. It's fun. If you can afford the box, you get some fun stuff. I'm going to play some more with the brushes. So then I may use them for different, different things, but I'll totally get use out of them. And I'm happy with it. So I hope you're happy with this video. I hope you're still trying to see what's in that box back there. Um, and I hope you help me. I'm at 96, I think. I hope you can maybe share this and spread the word and help me get to 100. Because the sooner I get to 100, the sooner I can, like, go ahead and do a nice giveaway. And listen, they're not going to be samples. There's definitely going to be a palette involved, too. So, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you're having a fabulous day or night, wherever part of the world you are on. And I've decided that, yes, I think even though it'll cost me a fortune to do international giveaway, um, I want to do an international giveaway. So, um, 
that's what I have decided to do. So anyway, I will see you then in my next video. I'm going to have a couple more. I've been filming a few more. I have a few more coming out really soon. And I'm just waiting for my Allure box to come in. I got my Birch box. I haven't opened it. I'm waiting for my Allure box to come in so that I can get do my Battle of the Boxes. And yeah, looking forward to sitting down here and filming with you guys and talking to you guys again. Hope you have a fabulous day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.